With Ox.io and the Pro Tools audio bridge, we now have new ways to connect Pro Tools to the Dolby Atmos production suite on the same machine. These workflows don't replace the high confidence systems with a Dolby Atmos renderer computer, but can provide you more flexible routing in all-in-one systems. For example, this setup allows you to use Pro Tools with HDX as your main playback engine and retain all your hardware inputs and outputs as well as DSP processing. This setup also eliminates the need to reconfigure your system setup when switching between session types. With the Dolby Atmos production suite open and connected, click the OxIO button and add Dolby Audio Bridge in the out column. In this example, we are also going to return the monitor audio, binaural and re-renders to Pro Tools, so we'll need to add the Pro Tools Audio Bridge 64 to the in column. Once we press OK, we can see our HDX connected interface channels as well as the Dolby Audio Bridge in outputs and the Pro Tools Audio Bridge 64 in inputs. The Dolby Audio Bridge output paths are based on the input configuration of the connected renderer. In the Dolby Atmos renderer under Preferences, set the Dolby Audio Bridge as the audio input device and the Pro Tools Audio Bridge 64 as the output device. Assign audio to the Dolby Atmos renderer via the Dolby Audio Bridge as usual by selecting those outputs from the track I.O. We can bring the renderer outputs back into Pro Tools using the Pro Tools Audio Bridge 64 by creating a setup in Pro Tools that matches the setup in the Dolby Room Setup and Routing window. In this example, we have a 714 speaker system to monitor the output of the renderer patched to our interface and monitor system. The binaural return can be assigned to headphones or even used as a source for sending to conferencing software such as Zoom. We also have a live 5.1 output from the renderer, which we can use to check loudness levels in real time.